After completing my summer internship at TRT, they reached out to me in order for me to undergo research into the failure of a steering assembly connection on their trailers. They required a prediction of the failure in order to preemptively replace these nuts as part of the regular maintenance the trailers undergo. The connection is located under the trailer deck as seen in the render attached at the bottom of the poster. The steering connection is held on by the larger of the two nuts at the top of the poster. The second smaller nut is the sample nut used in testing. Both have similar failure modes caused by stress concentration of the notch. After investigations into the possible cause, we determined that this was due to non-standard applications the trailers sometimes face. As these trailers hit small objects on the road, such as curbs, the bearing load of the trailer can favour one steering assembly, causing the failure. Impact testing, finite element analysis, fatigue testing and tensile testing would need to be done on scaled and simplified models in order to relate small scale results to the larger real world scenario. Sharpie testing equipment was designed and modified to represent the steering assembly to quantify the magnitude of force it would take to break this connection. Notched and unnotched test specimens were tested to determine the effect the notch had on the strength of the connection itself. It was found that unnotched specimens could absorb approximately 50% more force than the notch counterparts. Another discovery was that the notch samples struggled to hold their preload, often after one impact, losing torque, resulting in a much more violent failure. I will use three finite element analysis models to verify this data. A full-scale model from the trailer, along with a full-scale model of the Sharpie test sample. Using these two models, I can determine the error produced from simplification. COVID permitting, I will be able to undergo fatigue testing using different magnitudes on notched and unnotched specimens to observe the effect notches have on the overall tensile fatigue of the connection. In conjunction with this, I will be undertaking a simple UTS test to determine the difference in strength of the two connections. Here is a breakdown of the connection to illustrate where the nut is located along with the makeup of the steering connection. The top image shows the pivot stub and how it gets dropped down through the bed of the trailer to then have the steering assembly slipped over, followed by the nut under study. The bottom image shows the side view of the whole assembly. This is without the two side tyres to reveal the internal components. The top left image shows the original Sharpie equipment followed by the modifications made to the rig to be able to hold the simplified pivot stub. The stub was placed in the rig with the impact arm slipped over followed by the nut, similar to the real world scenario. The bottom two photos show the swing arm modifications made in order to be able to hold the weight plates. Here we see the three views of the simplified pivot stub along with the last image of a failed test sample illustrating the mode the notched nuts fail.